All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. We are showing you what the Windows 11 Insider Preview looks like on an Acer 5 gaming, uh, Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop. All right, here's the the features that you see. What it looks like, um, as you notice, everything's in the center, but it still has the Windows 10 type look still. Um, the only difference I really see here is they have everything in the middle, just like an Apple laptop, basically. I don't know if Microsoft's trying to compete with Apple, you know, about what they're doing. But I'm going to show you a couple things and what's changed and how it may affect you or it may or may not, depending if you like the newer versions of Windows 11 or Windows 10. Um, I did notice that when you push the start menu, you see all your settings right here like your Edge, your Mail, your Calendar, your Microsoft Store, your Photos, your Settings, which is a big hit for, I mean, it's a big hit to find a plus your Microsoft Store. And you got Microsoft Office, your Solitary. And these are some of the apps that were already included with the operating system of Windows 11. Um, if your computer has Windows 10 on it, it will be a free upgrade, is what Microsoft is stating, because the release date is October 5th. And it's free for a limited time. But I'm doing the insider preview just to prove on how stable it really is. Um, I did get the update from Nevada about the, uh, the, ele the Windows 11 gaming driver. It was already installed when I had Windows 10. And I tried some high quality games like Forza, Horizon 4, Sunset Overdrive, GTA 5, Fallout 4. Even games on Steam like uh, American Truck Simulator, and all those games run beautifully on this laptop. Um, and just so you know, this computer does have 16 gig of RAM. It has a iCore 5 9th generation processor, as you can see right there. <clears throat> and um, even though I I just basically just just upgraded it instead of redoing the whole OS. Um, this is basically what it looks like. Your icons are still in the same place. It's just everything that normally used to be underneath your start menu is in the center now. Um, so we're gonna give you a, a basically a preview of what the settings look like to start to show you what the runaround is. All right. As you can see, it's pretty cool. It shows you everything basically on one screen now. As you can see, it'll show like your your profile tag and everything, and your computer, the model number and everything. But your but your OneDrive, your Windows Update, your Microsoft Office stuff. And here's all the settings that you have. I'm not going to sit here and name them all to you because I know it's a lot of stuff, and I know you'll probably figure this out once you install it. Now, you will get lost for like the first 5 or 10 minutes of, of playing with it, because I did. I sure as hell did. And I've been a Microsoft fan for years. I don't like Apple. I've owned it. I just sold an Apple iPad because I never used it. Um, these are the settings that you can see here that you do have. I'm going as slow as I can for y'all, so y'all don't think that I'm just rushing through this video here and you can't see what, what, what was exactly going on here. This is also to help people who are Windows fans, like if you decide you don't want to download the free upgrade, and I guarantee it's probably going to be forced upgraded, since you have Windows 10, it's probably going to come through an update, and if it's not, you'll probably just end up going back to 10 if you like 10 better, but I love Windows 11. Um, then you have all these other options, like your Bluetooth devices, um, that's what it looks like here, and as you can see, here's your settings. I have an Xbox Series X controller for PC. It's a Bluetooth, and it connects fine. I had I have disconnection issues from time to time, but I think since I put Windows 11 on here, it seemed to run a little more efficient and better without having any disconnection problems. I had more problems with the Xbox Series controllers, which I do have one right here, as you can tell. It's used. I paid like $42 for it. I heard there was connection issues with these. On the PC, I had the problem with Windows 10, but not with 11. It's kind of weird. Um, you see, you got all these things like for your phone, printers and scanners, all that other good stuff. As you can see here, I'll give you a minute to view it and to look at it.
All right, and you got other settings like your network. That's what it looks like here. Basically, everything's on one page. It's basically the same options you have on Windows 10. It's just all put together in one. Your, uh, you can personalization everything. The same as you did with Windows 10. It shows you basically a preview on what it would actually look like. Um, I never really played with this option much yet, but I know it's got to be about the same. I think with the Windows 11, I've only had like four updates. And it's basically the same updates that is that is required when you have Windows 10 to be able to install 11. And here's the other features. As you can see. Um, the same for accounts. Tells you everything like your Bing rewards, your OneDrive, your info, your settings and options, your family settings, Windows backup, and so on and so on. I'll give you a minute to look at that too. So we can see what it, what the options you have on there. Um, and you have, which people are not really care about this too much. If you live in America, it's time and language. As you can see, it's all there, basically. And you got your gaming settings. you can see there. I apologize if, there is, if things are flickering for some reason. I'm not for sure if it's the light or if it's the fans that's blowing towards the phone. I really don't know. Um, people don't really care about that, so I'm not going to get too much in that because I don't see very many people asking questions about that. Those are privacy and security settings as well. Windows security, basically for virus protection, stuff like that. And this is what your Windows update looks like. Now, if you want to see what preview I'm using on Windows Insider, I go here. And this is what it looks like here. Uh, to choose, I think this is the one I hit earlier. Yeah, this is what I choose when I had Windows 10 installed. Is the Belter channel recommended? That's the best option, unless you're more of an expert. I've tried this one before, when, I, when Windows 10 first came out. And I've seen more issues with unstable parts of it. Like I've had it where it would freeze up or certain apps would, would work and disappear. I've had it where the games didn't give me much of a problem. I just had stuff just basically stop working and just vanish. And I didn't like it and I went had to reinstall it or go back to the previous version if your computer allows you to. So that's the one I would use if you want to... If you are more of a beginner at it, which I am, I use that option. But you got to be sure you're signed into your Microsoft account down here to do it. You can cancel that anytime. If you stop it, it'll force you to restart it. Same thing it does once you choose the selection. It'll make you restart. Then you you can you do the updates. It takes like it took me like five to ten minutes for the update to even appear for Windows 11 upgrade after I selected this option and had to restart the computer. Um, so you, you want to go back, hit the go back button, keep going. It basically takes you back through the, through the uh, menus you've already been through. Um, if you want to see what the Xbox companion looks like, which I know that's pretty cool for a lot of Xbox uh, gamers, including PC gamers. Um, here's the new Xbox companion. I clicked on the old one and it says uh, it hasn't had an update and that they changed the name to Xbox companion. And I don't know, I never owned the Xbox Series X yet, Series X, so I don't know what, what, the, what the dashboard looks on it. So I'm assuming it probably looks something similar to this. Don't get me wrong. If you want to comment on my channel and recorrect that for me, that would be great. <clears throat> um, but as you can see, it has all the games I have installed here, which is pretty cool. And it has the Game Pass, Social, and your store. Now, to see what the store looks like, I guess they got it now where you can do, you can like for like top paid games, they got a lot of deals going on like for Halo. I didn't know they had Halo 4 on here and Halo 2, which the whole collection, a lot of games on sale, as you can see. And I noticed that always be, I don't, I think they updated it where all these games that are on the PC are compatible for PC. I don't know if it's the same way with Windows 10 where some games you buy are only compatible with Xbox, not the PC. So keep that in mind. 
read the details to be sure the game is if you're using PC make sure you buy it for PC because if you don't and it's used for Xbox only you don't have an Xbox you pretty much is out of your money so go buy an Xbox if you're gonna play Xbox games if it's if it's an Xbox play anywhere game then you're in luck and that's mainly all I buy is the Xbox anywhere ones basically anymore um, but yeah that's what it looks like and you got your gender your, you can choose the options over here for, for the gender type and your capabilities um, I guess the social I haven't really looked much into on this but I dealt with it before and that's what it looks like as you can see everything's I like I like the outlook I mean this is really simple to use you don't get lost at all on this because if you're familiar with the old original app from Windows 10 before this upgrade it's basically the same thing they just shifted everything around now like I play a lot of this game Forza Horizon 4 I haven't played Crack, uh, Crackdown 3 yet I bought it through my Bing rewards because I had a lot of points um, but yeah that's what that looks like now, as far as profile wise, I, you can click on this icon here, and it'll pull up everything you need to do for your friends, your wish list, your feedback, appear offline, your signing out options, and so on and so on. Search for games here. I kind of think this is like a secondary option, like you could do through the Windows Microsoft Store, which you already have. But I think they're trying to. I guarantee one day they're trying to. They're going to try to get rid of the actual Windows Store and it's probably all going to go to this app one day. I have that feeling. It may or may not, but the way they're pulling their strings right now, I think that's what they're trying to do. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to slide this down. But if you want to see what the Windows Store looks like, it's right down here. You have to add it there. It's not there for you automatically. That's what it looks like. As you can tell, mine's going through some updates right now. But that's what it does look like. Um, the speed is incredible, but I don't see much of a difference right now between the Windows 10 and Windows 11 performance. Um, you got your apps here, um, movies. No, that's games. I'm, I apologize. And your movies. And yeah, I want to see that. I haven't seen that yet, people. But let's go back there and you can minimize it. <clears throat> now, if you want to see like your, your Microsoft Edge, it's right there. It only gives you the option where it has a second tab when you just let it highlight. But I took it off. Um, that's what Microsoft Edge looks like on Windows 11. Basically the same type of salt, the same version as, as you can tell. Hasn't really changed much. Um, your folder. Looks like that. I like the color of it. This is kind of different to me. Pretty cool. I like I like the idea of it, but I like it because it's got more of a better, beautiful color and some better enhancements that I can see in it. Um, when it comes to the clock and stuff over here, I noticed like all your notifications are highlighted. Like the clock notifications is all in one. The Wi-Fi and the sound and the batteries all in one menu. And OneDrive, I guess, is still under a little separate. I don't use it much anymore. And everything else there. Uh, if you want to see system information, I think if you can't find it and you want to get to the hassle, I guess just type it in. And I didn't realize that the uh, Bing Rewards thing was right here too. And that's pretty cool. I don't know why companies like to add the same thing on, on, on almost every other page. I really don't see the meaning of that. But I guess that's just the way to attract people to keep Windows. I mean, I give Windows props for doing what they're doing, but just don't get just Microsoft. Don't get ahead of yourself because we don't want you to have the same problems you have with Windows 8 and what you had on Windows 10. I think the most problem with Windows 10 was the damn printers was a pain in the ass, especially for the Wi-Fi printers. I had so many problems with it. I don't like printers. I despise them. Even though we still use printers today to print out like our paycheck stubs and all of our important documents you need for court or whatever um but yeah like steam and uh, ubisoft none of their apps have changed yet so but oh yeah if you also want to see what the nevada um experience looks like i think it will show you the actual driver now these are the games i have installed i 
Paula Drive. Actually, I actually I think it, yeah, I think it does. Drivers. That's the driver update they gave me for Windows 10. It is now available for the Nevada drivers. And if your computer has Nevada, then you need to download it now before you install Windows 11. But I recommend download the driver if it's available for your computer, which I know it is. If it supports Nevada graphics chips. And before and see how the games work on your computer before you put 11 on there. And if you don't like it, then just I guess you can go back to the driver because I don't want you to download the driver and do Windows 11 afterwards. But either way, you're still going to install Windows 11 then the driver later. So go ahead and do it now before you do 11 and see if if your experience is the same or better. I think it's the same to me. All right, I hope this helps for showing you what Windows 11 looks like. I hope you um, comment if you have any questions and subscribe today. Appreciate it. Have a good one.